Cheers. Hello and welcome to Slovakia. I'm in the old town just near the old Bratislava castle and behind me is a small bakery called Frischtuk. So let's check it out. This bakery is famous for its different breakfasts, but we were late, so we ordered all these cute sandwiches plus some sweet pastry. So we have ham and cheese, boiled eggs and gherkin sandwich, egg spread sandwich, blue cheese sandwich, caprese sandwich, Hokkaido, Balkan cheese sandwich and some different pastries. But let's start with this one first. Slice of ham, slices of boiled egg, cucumber, cheese, then brie cheese, some lettuce and that bread bun with seeds on top. Very nice bread, full of different seeds. You feel standard tastes, uh, ham, cheese, boiled egg, but there is a little bit of sweetness from that sauce that gives it a different flavor, which I really like. Hokkaido sandwich has a pumpkin spread and then some cherry, radish, olive on top and Valeriano salad. Mm. Oh, very nice homemade bread. Excellent paste made of pumpkin and garlic. There's some garlic taste which really really brings it to the next level. Great stuff. Let's continue. Expert sandwich. Let's go. The spread is quite neutral in taste but still nice and then kind of you feel more how good this homemade bread is. These bits on top just improve everything. We just had to order these fantastic looking homemade lemonades made with a rosemary and orange syrup then with some slices of orange, lemon and lime all fresh and it was finished off by just made fizzy water infusing all these flavors together and then it was topped by some very fresh mint and just look at these colors Very interesting looking Balkan cheese sandwich, spread made of cheese and roast peppers, different wedges on top and gherkins as well as sheep milk cheese. Let's go! Mm. The cheese is a bit salty, very very nice taste, full of flavors, but those cucumbers and pickles they just give that refreshing additional flavor to this sandwich. The next one is blue cheese sandwich and it has also sheep milk cheese on top and it looks really gorgeous. The taste is very strong, very pungent, an excellent sandwich with a blue cheese spread, a really strong taste, definitely one of my favorite sandwiches here. Last but not least, caprese sandwich and I can immediately see pesto sauce on the bread. Then we have mozzarella cheese, sliced tomatoes, black olives, rucola and basil. Mm. The bread is soaked in pesto sauce, another sandwich with a quite strong taste and I like even this one as well. All of the sandwiches were just amazing. This is definitely a great place for breakfast or a late breakfast. Well, the kids finished most of the sweets, but we ordered some more for a takeaway. But I'll get a chance to try this full of poppy seeds pastry, Bratislavski Rožok, and I bet that it tastes as good as it looks. Just too full of this poppy seed paste, crunchy pastry, not too sweet, an excellent dessert. Well, that was our really amazing late breakfast or a standard time lunch at the bakery Frischtuk. 
an amazing place, very cozy, cute, with top quality food. But we are not stopping here. So, see you at the next place. Our next place is Bratislavski Meštijanski Pivovar, very famous local brewery with some fantastic food. Proper Slovak beer is here, so cheers! A bit bitter taste, but also very smooth beer. I'm not a big fan of sweet beers, so this works for me. Our food just came and we ordered famous garlic soup in the loaf of bread, then the Czech style sirloin in the sauce with dumplings and the traditional Slovak halushki with fried bacon on top. So let's try the soup first. Steaming hot soup, very very creamy. The garlic smell is overwhelming taking this room. Good. When the kids like it, you know it's good. I need to dig deep. Oh, another big chunk of bread. That's it, completely finished. Next dish Svechkova na smotanje s paraninim knedlami. The beef is very tender, the sauce is thick and very tasty, I can sense the mustard but also some other ingredients, but this pomegranate on top makes it even better. Such a nice comfort food, perfect for cold winter days. An outstanding Czechoslovakian dish, uh, the beef is just perfect as well as the sauce, then this dumpling style bread and then pomegranate on top creates an extraordinary taste. And last dish here, brinzove halushki, which are tiny dumplings with sheep's cheese and topped with some fried bacon. The bacon is quite, quite crunchy, but also a bit hard. A bit salty, but overall nice dish. But after that, check sirloin in sauce with dumplings. It cannot really be compared. But this food journey doesn't end here. Let's get ready for the next place. On our way home, we bumped into this very interesting place called Makery, where friends can hang out while cooking. This is a place when you can come with your friends, it needs to be booked in advance, and then you can do some cooking. Interactive tablets are provided as well as ingredients, and this is a different way for people to associate or maybe just learn how to cook or improve their cooking skills. Our second day in Bratislava is quite sunny but also quite quite windy. We came here for our breakfast. This is Pressburg Bagel, a well-known local bakery selling bagels and other very interesting food. So let's check it out. The smell is just crazy inside. Here we have the stuffed pretzel, then the normal pretzel, French tart, classic croissant, then we have almond bagels, and then walnut bagels, and then poppy seed bagels, and then we have some poppy seed strudel, and then the full cage of this delicious pastry in the back. We ordered most of these pastries, plus a couple of chocolate croissants, and a couple of very nice looking hot chocolate drinks. Let's try the pretzel Full of air, very, very soft dough. Mm. It's a nice pastry, quite fluffy, the cheese is melted. It's a little bit on a dry side, probably would go well with kefir or plain yogurt. But let's try the stuffed one. The stuffed one looks quite, quite cheerful, a lot of colors, a lot of ingredients, bacon, onion, parsley. A cheese looks quite delicious. Mm. 
The stuff on has also some eggs as well to addition to this, but the bacon and other ingredients, definitely much tastier option than the plain one. Oh, very, very crunchy croissant. The chocolate is just about everywhere on this croissant. Nice and fluffy looking croissant. Extremely crunchy croissant with that buttery taste inside and then plenty full of chocolate everywhere on top. Very fresh and a delicious pastry. Time for these bagels or the other name Bratislavske Roshki. This is the almond one and it is full of almond paste, quite tasty, not too sweet, very very nice pastry. Poppy seed bagel will be the star of the show today definitely as the pastry is so thin and the inside is so full of these poppy seeds. Looks the same like the one we tried yesterday, only the color on the outside is more intense. Full full of this poppy seed paste. Mm. Mm. Wow. The poppy seed bagel here is several levels above. I think this is the proper stuff. It's full, full of poppy seeds. It's not really a paste, it's just a stuffing made of poppy seeds. Sweet, nice, not too sweet again, which I like. I don't like when there's too much sugar in any kind of pastry or dessert. Probably the best pastry that we tried so far in this city. Very interesting food experience at the Pressburg Bagel. Now our food tour isn't over, so see you at the next place. And the last place on our Bratislava food tour is Bratislavska Kozlovna. This is another Slovak traditional restaurant and let's see what kind of food they make. Kozel, the goat, famous Czech beer, and this one has 11% of alcohol, so I believe it is a goat, but it kicks like a mule. Cheers! Our starters are here, chicken soup, then a meat platter with some smoked bacon, smoked sausage, pork cold cuts, horseradish, mustard and of course homemade bread. Clear chicken soup with plenty of diced vegetables and it really smells nice. Pleasant tasting soup with very clear broth and rich with all these veggies and chicken. Traditional Slovakian tlačenka with some bread and horseradish. Pork pie with some bread and horseradish. It is quite neutral in taste, it's really nice and it goes really smooth with that bread and horseradish. Let's try this spicy sausage. Kolbasa in Slovakian or a sausage, and I believe this one should be a bit spicy. Very nice smoky taste, it's not really spicy, maybe just a hint of spiciness, but a standard Central or Eastern European sausage. Oravska bacon, this is smoked and probably slightly boiled bacon as well, has a very nice color. Let's try it. Very nice taste, not too salty, which is kind of surprise. Usually these dried meats, smoked meats, they have a high level of saltiness. Really resembles a homemade product. And the pork shank is here finally. Pork shank with some pickled vegetable, mustard sauce, and of course the horseradish sauce. This incredible looking pork shank has been cooked in dark beer and it's really famous dish around Prague and Bratislava. Wow, it really falls off the bone and everything just fell apart. This is a perfectly cooked pork shank. Let's combine this meat with some pickled pepper. Perfect bite, let's go. Mm. 
Perfectly cooked and very tender meat. Bread, horseradish sauce, chunk of meat, and this nice gherkin on top. Breathtaking food. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. I will see you next time.